Hello friends and welcome to our next class on SAP BW and in this class we will be looking at how the SAP BW data flow designing is done. This is our SAP BW data flow. And the first main objective is to identify the type of data. And the next we identify the number of info object that is required and what are its types. And once that is done, we will select the info provider accordingly and loading the data in it through info package and DTP. So first we will learn what are the different types of data. Primarily, that there are two types of data. Master data and transaction data. Master data is further subdivided into three types, attribute, text and hierarchy. Whereas transaction data is divided into actual type of data and plan type of data. So let's take an example of each of them to get a better understanding. So this table is an attribute type of a master data wherein the customer number C001 is the characteristic type info object. So here customer C001 holds the attribute like name, country, and contact number. Even though both of these are the characteristic type attribute, but they are connected in such a fashion that whenever we, we, we're gonna be calling customer number C001, it would also bring us the respective data attached to it. Like for C002, it would, it would bring up Dave, Canada, one, two, and its contact number. Now in text type of data, the same customer number is attached to its respective language. As SAP is used by multiple countries, which speaks multiple languages, so it is supported by multiple languages. So for our customer C1 has its login language as EN, so it would describe it would provide the description in English. So here it is customer one. Whereas our customer two is logging in and he's a German. So the code for German is DE and its description would be in German. This is this is Kunar two. So it would respectively translate the objects as per the language. Hierarchy over here the data is is stored in a proper sequence so basically it is used when you want to represent master data in level up and down and it makes data more redundant and uh, it has one problem extraction from r3 to bi side of hierarchy type of data is not possible so these are the three types of master data and actual data type of transaction data so it holds the data which has occurred in our real time whereas a plan type of data is used for planning purpose let's take an example so we have supposed that we want our revenue to be 10 million dollars by 2015 so this Revenue is indeed a transaction type of data, but over here it is a plan because it has not occurred at this point in time. Whereas the actual data is the data which is which keeps the record of day to day business. So the plan data is made on actual data. So after accumulating the data of couple of years, we would use that data for planning purpose. So actual data is where a, a BW consultant works. And a plan data is used by APO consultant that is advanced planning optimizer or IP that is integrated planning. So now we will have a look at types of info object. In all there are five types of info object. The first one is characteristic. So it defines on what basis we will be analyzing our key figures. To explain it, 
we can take an, an example of employee material or color so these are the thing on which we will be analyzing the key figures and what are key figures it is purely a measurable quantity which are used to analyze our report so best example of characteristic is let's suppose uh, let's say a, a customer number c001 has a salary of 1 lakh so 1 lakh is what we will be going to analyze is our key figure over here and customer number or customer id is our characteristic typing of object also key figure doesn't purely means that a telephone number is also a key figure no telephone number is a characteristic cause we won't be analyzing on it so stating in one line characteristic types of info object are those on, on the basis of which we analyze key figure and key figure it is a purely measurable quantity and on which we analyze our, our reports a unit characteristic it will provide unit to our key figures like kg pound and time characteristic it is it will hold the value of our time transaction has taken place now the what we are left with is technical characteristic that is a request id which we will be learning when we will be doing our practicals so i have taken an example and over here we will be analyzing what is the type of data what how many info objects we will be creating and what will be its type so the first one we can see it's a master data and it has got four info object of which name country and contact number are attribute type of characteristic info object and similarly in our transaction data we have got five info objects of which one is characteristic type info object cost and quantity are key figure type of info object unit is a unit type of info object and date is a time characteristic info object now we'll see what are the different types of info providers info cube are primarily divided into two different types standard and virtual standard are, are info cube which hold the data physically so the standard are further subdivided into two types that is standard info cube and real time info cube the standard info cube in standard info cube data cannot be loaded manually so over here planning is not allowed whereas in real time info cube here we can load the data manually and so planning can be done so it is mostly used by apo or bpc consultant whereas in virtual type of info cube it is further subdivided into three types it is based on dtp from direct access when we remotely when we are remotely accessing the data from sap or other flat file as a source system second one is it it is based on bapi that is bapi its full form is business application programming in, interface so it is used when we remotely access data from a non sap source system and the last one is is based on function module it is user defined function module as a data source so this is these are the bifurcation of info cubes another info provider we have is dso it is further subdivided into three types standard write optimize and direct update standard dso is a plain two dimensional table standard dso holds three different types of two dimensional table active data table new data table and change log table whereas write optimized dso has only one table that is active data table direct update dso it is used when when we are when we are implementing adp that is analysis design process multi providers and infosec multi provider and infosec these are info providers but not a data target it does not holds data physically it is used when we want a query by combining data from two or more info providers so these info providers can be info object info cube dso or even 
info set so whenever we want to create a multi provider at least there should be one common info object available in the info provider which we are combining and that info object should be a part of a primary key so it makes the union of all the info provider and displays to us in a in the front end whereas info set it is similar to a multi provider but it makes the intersection of data so both of these do not store the data and at the runtime the data is executed from their respective info providers types of transformation there are six types of transformation direct assign constant routine formula no transformation and read master data direct assign transformation as it clearly mentioned the data from source field to our target field is directly assigned that is no changes is done to it constant type it is used when we want to add a record when we want to fill fill the records with some constant values routine in this type of transformation we will be writing an abap code that would clearly depends upon the requirement of the client formula type of transformation this transformation will be doing calculation on the source field and the resultant info object is loaded into our info provider no transformation data is not carry forward in this situation in no transformation and read master data it is used when we have already loaded a master data in and we want to load transaction data so with the help of master data it loads the data into our info provider types of dtp there are four types of dtp standard direct access error and real time data acquisition so standard type of dtp is used for loading the info cube dsos whereas direct access dtp is used to load virtual provider and error dtp it is used when while loading the data from psa to info provider the error prone records are loaded into our error stack so these errorness record are manually updated and and then we run an error dtp to load the data from error stack to our data target and real time data acquisition so it is used whenever we want a very frequent data extraction so the data can be extracted after as minimum as 90 second or as maximum as 90 minutes so this frequent extraction degrades the performance of the source system so it is mostly used when when we are having the source is a pr3 or web based application so these are the different types of dtps so that's all for today's class thank you